and welcome back to Project Zomboid Season 3, Episode 4. I just did a quick little organization. I put medical stuff in here, non-perishable stuff in here, and I'm probably going to be collecting more eventually. But before night, we want to have a few things. One is I need to check for a saw. Saws are really important, and these tent pegs are okay for now, but... We're going to be focusing primarily on getting a saw. Because if I don't have a saw, I can't do any uh, woodworking. Uh, stacks of cardboard boxes. Again, cardboard boxes are just really useful early on. Nails. We're probably going to be hungry soon. I don't remember. Did I have... What was my info? Yeah, I'm not even like... Just random. Uh, that's just randomly hungry. Fun. Uh, Multi-tool drill head. I was considering that, and I was thinking about this flashlight as well. Uh, we don't need it right now, though, so I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, pliers. Ooh, there's the saw. Now we have pretty much every piece of equipment that we need to start work on carpentry. Uh, we might want to start investing in grabbing some seeds as well. I saw a cardboard box. I think it was in this one? Or was it over here? Oh, why am I even bothering with that? Because I have cardboard boxes here. Uh, we're just going to toss this here, and we're going to fill it with seeds. The main reason we grab these seeds is we're going to need to make a farm if we plan on surviving long term. Now, I'm not planning on surviving long term because the way I have this, I kind of don't like the fear the rain thing, if only because it's more or less annoying to have to deal with them just randomly entering buildings during rain time and it, it seems to cause it to rain a lot more often which wouldn't be too bad if it wasn't so annoying uh, continue with this carrots we're doing pretty good though I haven't noticed any major issues Still waiting to get tired. The first night tends to be a little bit longer. Plaster. Don't need anything there. I keep. I'm trying to listen to. I do hear undead. I was not sure if I was actually hearing something or. That was just like insanity going and taking my mind. Okay. Yes, that is you. You are making a nuisance. And I don't like you. So you die now. You're making a ruckus out here. Even though you're actually being relatively quiet, I just don't like you. <laughs> okay, next. Scrap of electronics. Cardboard boxes. Again, the cardboard boxes are... Ah. We just found one of the best, most useful tools available. The sledgehammer. We also have planks. I don't want to do that. I want to actually take it. Uh, the trowel. Yeah, we're going to need the trowel anyway. I'm just trying to... Uh, every time I hear the clash of thunder, it's... Or the clap of thunder, it's... Makes me try to listen if there's any damage being done to these doors. A hot glue gun. 
nails, lumber stack. That lumber might be useful. We don't need it yet, but I'm considering it. Now, these are good. Toss those out. Toss those out. Toss the trowel. We now have a, almost a full toolkit, which is actually pretty incredible already. Uh, we won't be needing it for too long, or at least right now, but yeah, we actually have a full toolkit. It's incredible. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat and go to bed. I'm just going to eat... Why, why did I do that? I meant to eat all of it. And we're just going to sleep, since it is... Well... Let's sleep seven hours. Oh, tamalia seeds. That's interesting. Tomatilio? Hearing banging. Hmm. There we go. 6 a.m. Building seems to be intact. I, I kind of like taking these toolboxes, but I kind of like taking the red ones. But till then, we're actually in a pretty good position right now. We should be well rested. I'm looking for certain things now. We do want to have wood, so we're probably going to need to go and start dealing with those and with that building. I'm going to toss this in here. We don't have any use for that right now, so till later. Now we want to take a quick search around the building, just because it does prevent them from spawning. And it tells you when they're around. Okay, I actually don't need that open right now. Uh, looks pretty safe. I'm not seeing any immediate threats. I actually want... We have an armored vehicle here. That's a... I'll take the canned beans, because I'm probably going to need those. Uh, map. I... Oh, I need a compass. Okay. Yeah, the map is useless without a compass. Which is kind of understandable. But then again, the map is actually... As long as you know what buildings are what, you usually can use a map. Hmm. But now that we have the full toolkit, we can actually deal with quite a few things. And I'm actually going to clear a lot of this stuff because I don't need it. What I want to do is I want to put my spec baseball bats here. Put this silence weapon here. And put my canteen. I always put the canteen here just so I know when it's empty. I'm going to take a quick sweep around here. I don't really need to worry about too much other than now there's a broken window here. Which indicates that this area might not be as safe as it was. Uh, do I want to take this? Or do I just want to chop it up? Yeah, I'm just going to saw it up. Uh, I shouldn't have taken that plank, but I guess it decided to take it anyway. I hear noise. Yep, okay, there's some undead in there. Why? Just 
Why? Why are you such a nuisance? Yeah, come over here so I can beat you to death in this building, which is now slowly getting one or two undead in it. I'll take the dog tag. Well, leaving the building open kind of invites them, but still. Apparently I need to do a sweep, like a full sweep. Uh, don't know why I take the key, but take the key anyway. Magazines are useful. And the flashlight I have no interest in. So. Yeah, let's start taking a few sweeps at this area and clear it out again. I want to see if I can get a baseball bat again. Screwdrivers, I might be able to... In fact, screwdrivers aren't bad as weapons. Okay, I'm going to use the screwdriver for a bit, just because I do know that it's not a bad weapon. And... Equip its primary. I like this little toolbar thing. It's probably been one of the better mods you can actually install. We're going to remove all the glass here, since there's no point in keeping it broken, otherwise you are, you are likely to injure yourself. It's not like the zombies get injured by it. I often do this as well to see what glass has been broken more recently. I can't tell if that's something there or not. I don't think that is. I think that's just a very unfortunate chair. Eh, doesn't look like there's too much threat here right now. I want this truck. And that's likely what I'm going to do. Eh. Put into both hands. Oh, I can't even do that. Wow. Oh. Hmm. You're a nuisance. Because I think I just have too much weight on me. What do I have on me that's so heavy? I'm guessing this probably isn't helping. What else? Well, regardless, I don't need to worry about that. These are the damaged versions of these. It doesn't really matter to me, but I'm going to go in here. See, I don't know where... Oh. They're about, apparently, slightly hoarding here. Not too bad. But it's a naturally occurring hoard, and so I like it a little bit more. Huh? There we go. It's just an instant kill, which makes it a little bit more useful than wasting all that time with the bat. Hmm. Screwdriver of murder. Who knew it was such an effective weapon? Yeah, you have to get the timing down a bit, but I've gotten a little bit better at it. Hey. Hi, buddy. Thank you. Let's see. What be in here? Looks like just another setup. Ah, oh, that's why they're so attracted to this area. But yeah, uh, what is it? That sound, they're attracted to the sound, so obviously they can hear that still. Oh, hi. Oh, 
Wasn't my intention, but... Stomp, stomp, stomp. Uh, next. I kind of want a few things. Uh, uh, another thing is I want to take a look at my skills first. Because I think I might actually start shooting. We need to get our sprinting up. That's one thing I noticed that we're really lacking on. And just kind of running around is probably going to help us a little bit. Go in both hands, because that's also a very good thing to have, because I want to get my blunt up. So I'm going to run around a bit. Boom. And I'm just going to murder you. There you go. Uh, Binox. I'm pretty sure those don't have a use. Books are partially useful. I just want to bring you over here so I can murder you. There you go. Just to make sure. Uh, both dead. Good. Take a quick sweep around. Uh, gas can. I kind of want that. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start fixing up a truck. We're probably going to start loading it up with at least some small things. Nothing too significant. Huh. Just had something... Nah. Kind of clawing at my uh, window. <laughs> that was a bit unnerving. Oh, such magic. And, oh, hey, no, you stay down. I did not give you permission to get up. Uh, I kind of like the gray pants. You, you know, I'll take your bet. Uh, I'll take your black pants. I don't know why you guys are coming over here. I do know why, actually, just because, in general. They kind of wander. Again, it makes it a little bit more difficult for you to deal with them. I'm just going to wear your pants. Because I liked your pants. Uh, let's rip these in the sheets. I could always use more bandages, just in case. Uh, what else do we want? Uh, see, I, I'm really torn still. I kind of want this vehicle, honestly. And it's got some canned tomato. Oh, it's delicious. The cop car is not really that good, but I'll take the gas cans. Yes, I know it's heavy. And we're just going to toss them in here. I think I'm going to take this vehicle. It may be a little bit more uh, costly in fuel, but it's still actually a pretty good vehicle and it carries a lot. It's a military vehicle, so obviously its weight capacity is going to be outstanding. Uh, next we need... We still need a lot of stuff. Honestly, of the, f uh, of the things we have, we need probably fuel the least because there's so many vehicles around here what do we need what do we need I actually don't know what we need overall like there's a lot of stuff we need but a lot of stuff we don't need as well hmm. yeah well I'm surprised that we actually didn't need to take one of these buildings uh, Ooh, canteen. I'll definitely take that. Canteens are probably one of the most valuable resources here. I'm just gonna run around. Uh, 
Uh, see, I'm, I'm not sure what to do here. There's a couple places I want to be, but I want to get a vehicle up and running ASAP. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start loading this vehicle. And I'm going to bring it over here. So it's closer by the door. So this is going to be our vehicle. Uh, yeah, car key. Bring it out here. Take a quick look around. Now to work with this, um, start and get in the car. I'm pretty sure I can go through these. Yeah, okay. Uh, vehicles are run with the arrow keys instead of the WASD. And when you pl press the WASD, you tend to get out. So, yeah. This area is pretty much set here. I think we're good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to refill this canteen. At least one of them. Uh, come on, fill canteen with water. Fill canteen. And we'll go over here where we have the food. We'll toss one of them. Now, tools, I mean, we have a lot of tools, honestly, and I don't think we need this much. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to toss most of my tools in the vehicle, and this is probably where we're going to end the episode. I'm going to basically toss this stuff. Let's see, I'm going to keep, no, I'm not going to keep the screwdriver. I'm not going to keep any of this equipment. It's just all going to go in here. And this will be our tool vehicle, our basically mobile base. And I'm probably going to keep the sledgehammer and axe in here unless I need it. And I want to start storing weapons in here as well. Uh, saws, we don't need that overall. Won't need the second duffel bag. Huh. I think we're pretty good. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Probably next episode I'm going to... I'm tempted to start building in the other building, but... Yeah, what I, th I think I'm going to do is I'm going to actually... Start gathering wood and loading it into one of these vehicles to start building. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Thank you for watching. For more content, check out my channel. If you wish to support my channel, check out my Patreon. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for updates.